Hello and welcome to this video, a little short video on how to do problem 7 from module 5. I chose this one for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is it kind of encapsulates a lot of the uh, calculations that you'll be doing. So and again, my numbers will probably differ from yours. So the following data represent the muscle velocity in feet per second of shells fired from a 155 millimeter gun. For each shell, two measurements of the velocity were recorded. So shell 1 had two measurements on it. Shell 2 had two measurements on it. For each shell, two measurements. Therefore, these are matched pair because the two measurements are taken on the same round. Let's move on to 2 or B. Is there a significant difference in the measurement of the muzzle velocity between device A and B? Is there a significant difference? Note a normal probability plot and box plot of the data indicate the differences are approximately normal with no outliers. Since it is approximately normal with no outliers, we can use the t-test. So let's go ahead and use the t-test, get this data into uh, StatCrunch. Let's see if um, Java works for me. If not, we'll have to do this some other way. Open in StatCrunch. And nope, my Java is out of date. So that means I'm going to have to open in new StatCrunch. And here's the new StatCrunch. Observation in the first column, measurement at A in the second, measurement B in the third. So we need to detect if there's a difference in the measurements. Since this is paired data, we'll go up to stat, T stats, paired. Sample 1 is in A, sample 2 is in B. Don't need to save the differences. We could if we wanted to. Hypothesis test. Since we're t testing if there is a difference, the alternative is going to be not equal to 0. And the, let's compute. I thought I cl clicked on B. There we go. And compute. And here are the results. The average distance in this sa difference in this sample between A and B is 0.616 etc. Standard error, degrees of freedom is 5, which is the sample size minus 1. The test statistic is negative 0 0.5, 009064, and the p-value is 0.637. Since the p-value is 0.637, and since that's greater than our alpha of 0 0.01, we do not reject the null hypothesis. Continue. And now we construct a 99% confidence interval about the population mean difference, computed as A minus B. OK, we'll go back here, close this window, back to stat, T stats, still paired, still A, still B. But we need a confidence interval for 1 minus 2, for A minus B. And we need to do it at the 99% confidence level and compute. The window pops up. It's for A minus B, sample difference, which we already knew, standard error, which we already knew, degrees of freedom is still N minus 1. There's the lower, there's the upper. Notice that 0 is within this confidence interval. That tells us also that there is no significant difference between A and B. So let's go ahead and put the numbers in. Arrange the windows. Confidence interval is from negative three decimal places. You need to remember that. Point negative five point five eight one to four point three four seven. Just got these numbers from the lower limit and the upper limit. Check. Good job. And we are now at the end of problem, oh, nope, one part remaining. Choose the statement that best agrees with your interpretation of the results. 
Since it is a 99% confidence interval, I am 99% confident that the mean difference in measurements lies in the interval found above. Boom. That is the very definition of what a 99% confidence interval means. And we're done. Hopefully this showed you some use of StatCrunch in calculating a lot of these statistics and in interpreti interpreting the results. Remember, computers do the calculations, our brains have to do the interpretation. Take care.